It felt like a dull ache all the time. David DeNoyer had no patience for his knee problem. I run, uh, I play ice hockey. But for this 53-year-old grandfather, the pain only got worse. My knee was getting to the point where I couldn't do those things as much or as well as I'd like to. These x-rays show why. Normal knees have a cushion of cartilage separating the bones. What's not normal is what we see on the left knee, where you can see how the bones touch. David's diagnosis, osteoarthritis from active wear and tear in his joint. In the late stages, it hurts all the time. For years, David wore this bulky brace when he played sports. It helped, but it wasn't a long-term solution. And for David, neither was a full or partial knee replacement that can require many months of rehab. Too invasive for me, too young, too much downtime. Dr. Andreas Gomal offered a new option, signing up for a nationwide FDA trial to test this implant that's surgically attached to the bones with screws. To it, essentially add a shock absorber, where every time you take a step, that little cylinder takes away some of the, the stress. I think that's a, a really interesting option. And David is the first patient in the United States to test it out. He had the surgery at Brigham and Women's in November. I was weight bearing right away. And within two weeks, he was out on the ice with his granddaughter. It's been great to get out there and be, you know, be active again. Even Dr. Gomal is impressed with the quick pace of David's recovery. I think he's a little bit of a superstar, but it, it certainly shows what the implant can withstand. At the end of the day, anything that he feels he can tolerate, it's okay with me. This trial will take a few years to complete. Doctors want to know how stable is this implant? How quickly does it wear out? But if successful, it could offer an appealing new option for younger active patients with knee pain. Emily Reamer, WCBB, News Center 5.